सर आपका माइक ऑफ है आवाज नहीं आ रही सर so, I am very much sorry that uh, uh, without my voice you was uh, just uh, listening and hearing seeing this presentation. So I repeat it again. Now you can hear me. Yes, sir. So I was telling you that uh, these uh, the sinus and the fistula. So these are the two commonly observed condition of the skin, and these conditions are resulted because of the skin infection. So I started with this. Uh, in case of sinus, it developed this. Say there is a skin infection, and if this skin infection is not treated timely, this infection is expanded deeply. right and this deeper penetration of the tissues it it result into a development of tubular tract in the form of a tract in the form of the inflammatory tract in the form of the inflammatory tubular tract so this tubular tract is resulted because of the deeper penetration of the skin infection so in case of sinus this uh, track is shorter and it is closed inside all right it has only one opening that is the opening at the outside so you will see the sinus uh that will be having single opening and it it will be resulted or it will be uh, you can say clinically it will be presented with the release of pus with the oozing of the pus and the discharge of the necrotic material but in case of fistula this is the inflammatory tubular tract which has two opening one in the outside and one in the inside inside opening is at the level of some other cavities at the level of say this sinus that was further deeply extensive and it has communicated with the abdominal cavity so now it has two opening one opening at the skin level and one opening at the level of the abdominal cavity so if the sinus tract which is communicating the cavity so this is called fistula so these are the two main important conditions and one is called sinus another is called fistula they are commonly observed now you can see in this picture that this case that is showing the external wound on the head region and when we insert the probe the probe that was not communicating directly into the skull it was deeper up to the level, level that it was only involving the skin tissues so this case would be declared as the case of sinus but if per chance if the depth is so much longer that it is communicating with the skull so it means that this is the case of the fistula so this dog is presented with the sinus formation at the head region initially it was the infection but it was not treated timely and there was the extension of the infection deeply involving the further layer of the skin and it has resulted into a inflammatory tubular tract formation so this condition can be treated by giving the incision over that side yahan se bhi incision de denge yahan se bhi incision de denge so ultimately first we have to extend this lesion opening because this opening is very much smaller so after this incision now we had we would have a very good approach to visualize grassly the things so all the necrotic material will be removed now we will uh, just convert this contaminated wound into a fresh wound so that we can be well able to start the granulating process and normal wound healing process so in this way we can control and we can treat this condition on the other hand in case of sinus so this is a little bit more difficult to treat because it is more deeper and it is involving the lower in uh, the cavities inside so this uh, track is also opened by giving the incision in the same way the necrotic materials are removed and that deeper wound that is made fresh and it is uh, treated routinely with the use of antiseptic agents and the course of antibiotics so in this way you can treat this condition sinus and fistula and the difference between these two condition is the opening and the communication if the communication is with the deeper other cavities then the condition would be called as fistula but if there is no communication with the cavities then the condition which is having the 
uh, tubular inflammatory tract, a blind purulent inflammatory tract that would be called as sinus in which the one end is open, another is going to look closed. And uh, in fact, this is the consequences of the abscess. The abscess which is not controlled and was deeply penetrated. So, so you would see a tunnel uh, and that tunnel, like in this case, there is a tunnel and that tunnel is uh, 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 presented with the a little bit granulating mass. Uh, but there is a no complete healing of this wound because of the contamination and because of the poor management. So this is about its clinical finding and uh, treatment and uh, the animal will show the sign of the pain and inflammation and you can diagnose this condition on the basis of your clinical by inserting the probe inside. Uh, so you will see the depth and the direction of the uh, fistula and the sinus and you can also diagnose this condition or observe the uh, estimate the depth of the uh, sinus or fistula by in injecting water. So the quantity of water is measured, and you can say that this this is the sinus of uh, that would that can hold 20 ml of water, that can hold 10 ml of water, that can hold 50 ml of water. Similar, you can also uh, uh, develop the uh, you can also diagnose this condition and also diagnose the depth of this condition by taking the contrast radiograph. Uh, so in, in the contrast radiography, in the sinus or in case of sinus, the contrast material is injected. The contrast material is injected inside and now this uh, uh, part of the infection uh, that is taken through radiograph. So the radiographic picture that will show you that in fact this is the wound and it will tell you the depth of the wound and it will tell you the communication of the uh, of this fistula or sinus. So you can also take the help from taking the uh, radiograph, uh, contrast radiography. So these are the treatment option of both the conditions. We, uh, depending upon the size and the depth of the uh, fistula or sinus, you can also take this option of setoning. So I have already told you, so in case of say this is the sinus and it is a deeper sinus. So one opening is already present on the uh, upper side of the skin, on the proximal side of the skin, but this uh, uh, this is not present on the dependable part of the body uh, where it can automatically be drained out. So just to make the communication of the drainage, we can have to create a counter opening on the lateral aspect. So we have to, uh, uh, we have to place a uh, gauze in between these two opening just to keep them patent that to keep both the opening patent and this gas should be replaced uh, twice a day and this gas should be containing the antiseptic solution so this guard would be very much helpful in controlling the infection and keeping the wound patent and keeping the wound fresh so this condition is this uh, sort of uh, technique that is called setoning you this this piece of gas this is called seton. So it should be placed between these two openings. Similarly, we have further option of uh, use of magnesium sulfate. Uh, this is a very good debribing agent, chemical debridement. Ki jab baat karte hain. It is this cavity, whole cavity is filled with the paste of magnesium sulfate and that uh, should be flushed out on the second day. So it will it will lead to debridement, mean it will remove all the layers of the necrotic material which are lying inside the sinus or fistula. You can also uh, use the hydrogen peroxide. So this is the antiseptic agent. When it is goes into the deeper cavities, it will react with the necrotic material and it will re release the nascent oxygen. It will also dissolve the uh, necrotic material so that we can easily remove it out. We can also wash, uh, lavish, give a lavish wash with potassium permanganate. We can flush the wound by using this solution. Similarly, in some cases which are very much older, where uh, there has been a lot of ne necrotic changes that has been occurred, so we can also cause the uh, apply the thermal, uh, you can say thermal application. So these linings, these linings of the necrotic mass, they can be treated with some th thermal source, like we can directly burn these walls. We can also make use of certain caustic agents like caustic soda and caustic potash. So that the upper layer, necrotic layers of the sinus and fistula 
wall that should be cauterized that should be burned so that we can have a fresh layer away outside similarly this this option is uh, widely used by uh, in our clinical practice that we can surgically remove we can expand the opening we can expand the opening and uh, surgically remove all the content necrotic material which are present in the sinus and the fistula so that we can put both these condition on the right track of the healing process so these are the three or four options like the use of sitting the use of uh, magnesium sulfate powder or epsom powder the use of hydrogen peroxide or potassium permanganate and also we can also have the uh, use of this caustic or burning agent uh, in those cases when we are you can feel there is a high necrosis of the tissues and also we can take this option whenever we feel that all these therapies they are not more useful then the surgical debridement would be the good option in this case just to scoop out all the content by using cutting uh, instruments so this condition should also be compensated with the use of antibiotics and i usually recommend the injection panbiotics uh, in case of large ruminants in case of equine the use of anti ats anti tetanus serum that is also recommended because there is a high chances that the animal may in case of camel and the horses we should have a better prevention to save the animal from tetanus so we can offer ats at the dose rate of uh, 50 100 to at the dose rate of 1500 to 3000 unit international unit of ats we can also use uh, the att at the dose rate of uh, uh, 5 to 7 ml of this anti uh, tetanus toxicide and similarly uh, this is the uh, sinus or uh, sinus you can see a, a probe is inserted just to uh, estimate the uh, depth of the fistula or sinus similarly this is the lacrimal fistula so you can see here is a lacrimal duct so here is a lacrimal duct that open into the nasal cavity uh, so this duct has the cavity you know And this duct that is the inside of the duct in fact this is the cavity so if the infection is present at the level of the skin where this infection is penetrated deeply and it has also penetrated into that lacrimal duct so the lacrimal duct will be communicated outside at this level so this sort of uh, fistula which is communicating the lacrimal duct to, at an abnormal place with the outside of the body so this sort of fistula that would be called as lacrimal fistula so this is very much common in human so this is about the fistula and its treatment the etiology is quite same clinical findings are quite same the difference is the is the opening in case of uh, fistula you have uh, two opening in case of uh, uh, in case of sinus we have and but the line of treatment for both the conditions that is quite same the other condition is the burn you have already gone through this topic of burn in your small animal surgery so burn is the condition which is the accidental condition when the animal has an an accidental contact with some burning agents like uh, 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 thermal injuries when they are applied at a um, faster rate than the rate of absorption of the skin so it will cause damage to the skin so these are the two terminologies which are used for thermal injuries one is called burn and other is called scalds so burn is the direct application of some heated solid heated object like uh, in uh, direct application of this uh, burning fire 
that application of some uh, heated irons so this uh, condition that is the burn which is resulted due to the direct application of some uh, hot objects in case of uh, scalds so this is the thermal injury which is resulted due to uh, accidental touching or uh, excess of the animals with some hot liquids so this is more uh, detrimental condition because of the penetration of the hot liquids into the body so it can extend extensively damage the skin deeply as compared to the burn so these are the two conditions one is called burn when the thermal injury that is caused by hot solid and the scald a thermal injury caused by the hot liquid and the scald it is more uh, likely to be more severe than the burn so we can classify the burn on uh, the basis of uh, its involvement deeper involvement of the tissues so the burn may be first degree burn we have already gone through this topic in our small animal surgery so first degree burns are those burns which are only involving say the epidermis so this is the skin and it has a uh, some layers like uh, this superficial layer which is very much thin and this is called epidermis this layer that this is a highly thick layer and it contain uh, the nerves it contain the blood vessels it contain the hair follicles all the materials and below to this dermis that is the hypodermis uh, it is in fact the, the connection between the dermis and the uh subcutaneous tissues in fact this contain some uh, uh some 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 part of the subcutaneous tissues so if the uh, the degree uh, first degree in case of first degree when only the superficial layer of the skin that is involved that is the epidermis the damage but in case of second degree burn when this uh, second layer that is dermis is involved but not complete thickness of the dermis but half of the length of the dermis that is involved so the second degree burn involving the epidermis as well as some part of the dermis but in case of third degree burn this is the more uh, detrimental condition involving the full thickness of the skin that is the epidermis as well as the dermis so this is called third so the uh, clinical sign they varies uh, in first second and third degree the first degree because this only the superficial layer is involved so it the result into pain and uh, very few blisters of the skin or redness of the skin you can see in second degree burn you can see the there are huge blister formation and uh, in case of third degree burn there is a change in the color of the skin the color will become more darker and brownish because almost all the thickness of the skin that is involved similarly you can uh, see the sign of the pain because the nervous tissues they are also damaged so that's why you cannot see the pain reflex over that to side so this is the third degree burn so uh, the first degree burn the second degree burn and the third degree burn their uh, clinical diagnosis is important just to decide your line of treatment so first degree burn in case of first degree burn the case is not serious but in case of second degree burn and the third degree burn the case may be declared as a serious case when uh, there is a huge body surface area that is also involved so you can see in this animal uh, this is the case of the second degree burn or third degree burn the color of the skin that has been changed from uh, a normal color to dark or brownish color so it means almost uh, whole thickness of the skin that is involved so the clinically you will see there will be diffuse swelling where the area with the focal area where the uh, body has been contacted with some heated object you will see the vesicle formation you will see the pa painful blister formation in case of first and second degree burn and you will see the dead area of the skin where the skin that was uh, totally damaged and you will be presented with a brown or black leathery color like in this case of the animals 
so uh, uh, depending upon the uh, body's in involvement of the body surface area and depending upon the depth of the uh, burning effect so we can discharge the prognosis of the case so the prognosis is very much poor as in the case of your small animal surgery uh, when there is uh, more than 50% total body surface area is involved but uh, the case is declared as a risky case when more than 4% of the body surface is in you know and it may result into shock because of the dehydration so coming to the treatment of this condition so this condition can be treated by multiple options so our first choice uh, would be just to come back with this condition because when there is a huge damage to the skin because you know that if you look at the function of the skin the the skin uh, this is the biggest organ of the body and uh, it has to perform lot of function so the main important function is the insulation of the body insulation so when there is a extensive damage to the skin so the body insulation is leak so ultimately this insulation when there is a leakage of the insulation it will lead to wastage of the body fluid so the body can be dehydrated severely when the animal is suffering from thermal injuries so in this situation the body can be uh, further resulted into the development of the shock so just to save the animal from shock and first we have to rehydrate that animal so our uh, uh, options uh, uh, rehydration options uh, there are multiple options we started with the uh, isotonic fluids or uh, normal crystallized fluid fluids and then we uh, uh, keep the effective circulatory volume by offering the colloidal solutions so you know that the colloidal solutions they are uh, having a bigger molecules they retain the fluid in the circulation and save the animal from the development of the shock so the fluid therapy in the cases of the burns uh, that is uh, constituted by using both the crystallite solutions as well as the colloidal solutions so we can also uh, uh, cool by discharge the cooling effect by use of certain emulsions like uh, bernal or quench creams so these are the uh, creams which contain antiseptic agent as well they are uh, they can discharge the cooling effect and similarly in case of first degree burn if the blisters they are very much painful for the body then these blisters can be uh, they uh, can be ruptured just to release the pressure so the exposed area should be protected by the use of astringent agents antiseptic agents so for this quench cream uh, this is the sulfa medicine that is routinely used bernal cream that can be routinely used the use of uh, pyodine that is also used and uh, uh, we have to make the covering of this uh, exposed area so in case of chemical burn the chemical burn may be due to application of strong acids and alkali so agar burn jo hai wo kisi acid ki wajah se hai then we can reverse the neutralize the effect by using a light solution of alkaline agents so if the burn is due to concentrated alkaline solution then we can uh, reverse or neutralize the effect of this uh, chemical burn by using uh, some light acids like uh, in case of uh, uh, uh acids uh, sodium bicarbonate can be used for acid burn and vinegar can be used for the alkali burn so frostbite is uh, the condition in which the animal is exposed with extreme cold weather this tarah ke minus 10 15 degree centigrade ke andar insano ke liye bhi problem hote hain then uh, uh, there is problem for animal so the softer structures they can be turned to necrosed Uh, necrosis and gangrene formation if they are exposed with the extreme temperature so these are also treated with some antiseptic agent or combination of turpentine ammonia and chloroform uh, with one part in each six part of the oil that is used so you can also know the difference between the necrosis and the gangrene uh, so both these conditions they are represented with the death of the cells and the tissues
so in this way you can um, treat this condition accordingly so the this is a very interesting case i would like to share with you this uh, this condition is called yog gall aur ye hamare ha those animal those bulls male uh, ruminants large ruminants which are kept for pulling the cart uh, uh, this condition is observed in in these animals and particularly in um, in in uh, bulls which are used for draft purposes this condition is very much common so agar aap iski thoda sa is if you look at the uh, anatomy of this uh, cart so the the part of the cart that is placed at the cervical region at the proximal side of the neck just for uh, pulling for its pulling so this this uh, this 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 is this is in termed as in our local language is this is called panjali so uh in fact this this part of the cord if it is not perfect then it may lead to a condition which is called yog gall so look at this picture so this animal is suffering from the yog gall so what is this condition yog gall because of the wrong use of the cord the cord the part of the cord it was not smooth it was rough and it was not uh, fixed tightly it was loose so this jerky appearance this rough structure it can cause a crushing injury on the different layer of the skin say so if this picture if it is not smooth so if it is applied over that side so because of its uh, friction because of its crushing effect it will cause the injury at the level of the skin so the skin that is having different layers as you already know that it is having layers so all these layers because of that friction of this part of the cord all the layers of the skin they are separated from each other and now so this is the inner trauma of the different layer of the skin so because of this trauma the inflammatory response rapid inflammatory response that would be observed it will lead to exudation exudate formation in response to inflammation and that exudatory fluid it remain collected within the layers of the skin so yahan se inflammation shuru ho gayi to iske andar pani bharna shuru ho jayega yahan pe bhi yahan pe bhi so that it can swell up swell up so here you can see the tall uh, huge ball swelling is is produced because of the friction of this part of the so this condition in which there is a inflammation and separation of the different layer of the skin because of the friction full contact of this part of the cord uh, during its pulling and similarly this condition is also observed when the animal they are kept in pairs so in me se ek trained animal hota hai and the second is untrained animal so they are not uh, uh, using or utilizing their pace in the same way they are not utilizing their energy in the same way so one animal has uh, opposite direction and the other animal has face its opposite direction so this may also lead to increase the level of the friction of the cord at the proximal part of the neck so this will result into this condition so here you can see as it is so this is the uh, you can say uh, one of my favorite picture this was taken in the early time of the development of the sivas jan you can see this uh, personality professor dr abdul shukur uh, looking more young at that, that time so this is the first batch and we used to have this case in our clinic for the first time it was uh, this clinic was established so this case was presented with the yog gall and we have observed this big uh, more than a football size inflammation that was of that at the proximal part of the neck so like other cases of the inflammation 
so this yaq gal or this inflammatory response is of two types initially uh, this inflammation that is presented with exudation in the initial response because the exudatory fluid is produced so you can see there is a exudation so this exudation can be removed and this stage can be effectively treated without the use of our surgical intervention so if we use some uh, chemicals which can discharge the as osmotic effect like the use of glycerin or uh, use of magnesium sulfate and glycerin paste if it is applied on the body so it will cause the osmosis and it will can release the fluid from inside of this cavity to the outside of the skin so in this way gradually you can see the this uh, this whole swelling can be subsided with the passage of time in the meantime we have to place this animal on complete rest so the animal is uh, the owner of the animal is strictly banned just to place the cart over that side so that because that was the etiology that was the root of the cause so if this action is repeated it will cause the re occurrence of this problem so this animal should be provided the rest for 2 to 3 months until and unless the skin that get normalized that exudate that should completely be removed but in some cases if the owner of the animal that was not interested for the treatment and this case was remain neglected so this exudation will further be sported with the proliferation of the fibrous mass now this this swelling this fluctuating swelling containing the fluid is replaced with a swelling with hard mass so at this stage this condition would be termed as tumor neck uh, just like a just like a inflammation that has been shifted into a tumor and that tumor is present at the level of the neck so if this condition is uh, on your clinical examination if you feel the mass is uh, very much harder and you cannot see the presence of the fluid so this condition is called tumor neck and this is showing the most chronic form or chronic stage of the yaq gal so this condition is uh, uh, very interesting to hear and you can see these uh, these sort of cases in your clinical practice and it, this is the pathophysiology that inflammation of the neck due to constant friction of the jaw and it may result to separation of the layer of the skin and subcutaneous tissues with the infiltration of serum and exudate and this uh, size of the swelling may vary from smaller size to the football size so you can see uh, the level of the swelling in this case so uh, sometime if uh, this animal is still being kept on the work uh, for pulling the cart in the rain and the sweat free seasons so this rainy rain and watery content over that side it can also aggravate the situation and it can result the separation of the layers of the skin so etiology is quite obvious i have showed this if the younger animal they are put on this on this uh, service of pulling the cart because their skin is very much softer and tender and it is very much vulnerable for its separation and similarly uh, this unusual pressure or irregular fitting of the jaw uh, 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 irregular fitting of the uh, uh, this cart that could also result to the development of the yaw gall so these are the clinical sign you will see the swelling painful swelling initially uh, exudation and a huge mass but with the passage of time uh, it may result into abscess and tumor neck formation if it is not treated so these are the treatment option i have already told you that we can uh, apply the fomentation hard fomentation is applied in the case of chronic cases and this is very much effective the paste of glycerin with kaolin this is very much effective this is again very much effective this uh, i have been using this paste uh, for my personal experience in many cases and it is very much effective in the in those cases which are initially absorbed with this condition and was uh, initially offered for the treatment 
बट इन केस वेन दफ ऐसे होता है कि द स्टेरिलिटी ऑफ दिस कंडीशन इज डैमेज वाई दिस सम ओनर दे इंसर्ट दी सरेंज इज नीडल्स इन साइड एंड अल्टीमेटली दे टर्न दिस स्टीराइल कंडीशन इन टू एन एबसेस so whenever you observe this abscess formation that abscess should be treated like its principal therapy we have already discussed and in the cases when this condition has become more chronic and the tissue they become more harder so the surgical excision of the hard mass that is so it needs a very extensive surgery a very difficult surgery or that side just to remove the extra growth that has been resulted in this so saddle gall again uh, these are the same injuries in case of york gall but these are because of the placement or wrong placement of the saddle so you can see at this point at the back of the animal so these uh, galls condition they can develop and similarly in animals bed sore this is a very common condition those animal which are very much weaker and their bone bony protuberance are they are much exposed when they come in contact with the hard grounds so they can result into bed sore so this condition can be treated in the same way so sit fast is condition which is observed in uh, equines and it is because of the pressure of collar on the top of the neck so this condition is diagnosed and uh, it is treated in the same way so these are the uh, conditions uh, which uh, are treated accordingly thank you very much any question regarding to this discussion